for him. Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. Oh, yeah. His eyes were as a flame of fire, oh, yeah. and on his head were many crowns. Uh -huh. And he had a name written uh -huh. that no man, man knew. No, no. They got the name today. Go ahead. Yeah. And he had a name written that no <laughs> man wait, knew. Wait, look at his face. Because you know that is the truth. Wait, 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 Finish up, though. Finish up, though. Finish up. Finish up. I'll let you explain. I don't even got to read his name to Jesus. Stop. Read that again. Listen. I said I understand and I rather listen for this reason right here. What was the reason? Dispute. No, that, it's that, not dispute. Yeah, yeah, dispute because you're gonna say what you're gonna say upon your literature and your text and your understanding. I'm gonna say what I understand of my understanding. Okay. It's gonna be, that, that's why that's the confusion. Alright. That's so why then, we are. So quick question. Quick question. We'll make it plain. We'll make it plain. So we're gonna finish, finish reading what the Bible says, and King James didn't write it. He didn't write the Bible. He authorized it to be translated from Hebrew into English. He didn't change the words, nor did he write anything. It was 40, what, 47? 46 scholars that knew Hebrew and Latin. And then they translated it. How many chapters missing the Bible? We got them all right here. You have every chapter of the Bible? We have all 80. All 80 books. Because in the one that you can buy at a Walmart is 66 books. But they took the Apocrypha out of it. The Protestant church, the white man, the so-called white man took it out. Now they took it out so when our people read the New Testament in certain parts of the Bible, they don't understand who it's talking about. There it is. There's the one that you got to buy. You got to spend Jordan money to buy that Bible. Why and how in the world you can buy a Bible for 10 bucks from Walmart? But you buy that one, that's about 250 what black people you know are going to spend that on a book? The only ones that will do that is the ones that understand how important that book is to their people. That's right. So show the, show the, yeah. He's showing it to him, showing the section that's been taken out. And then we're going to finish that in Galatians. We're going to start right back at 22. See that right there? So all of this Somebody get the Bible dictionary as well. got all of them. So we can find, just get uh, the King James Version. Because we're not disputing, we're just trying to tell you, this, these are facts. These are not, it's not, you can't dispute facts. That's fact that that's what happened. The Protestant church took that out of the Bible so our people don't understand it when they read it. So now, whenever we read the Bible, and we read about Ishmael and, and, uh, and Jacob, right? Or Ishmael and Isaac, matter of fact. When you read about them, only one of them was chosen. One of them, not both. Ishmael is your Arabs today. We don't have Arabian. We are not Arabians. The Arabians right now are fighting against the Israelis right now, getting bombed, getting blown up. Why they ain't blowing up black uh, uh, Islam brothers that follow that religion? Why they not getting bombed? Because they're not them. They don't care about them. Because they understand the same way we was taught Christianity. Hold on. Just like we was taught Christianity in slavery, there was a first, there was a sub-Saharan slave trade first, right? By the Arabs, and they still selling me and you for four hundred dollars today, right now. Why don't Islam, black men, talk about the slavery that Islam or the Muslims did to us? Why don't they mention that? The same way we was taught slavery in Christianity, we was taught Islam the same way. Forced. Right. It was not voluntary. Right. And we're going to read it. And that's just to prove a point, bro. This, this is historical fact. That's not, we're not disputing that. Our people debate stuff that can be argued. You cannot argue history. Right. It's the truth. Now let's read that in Galatians. Nope, go back to Galatians. Let's see who the chosen one was and then go to Jeremiah. Galatians chapter 4, verse 22. Uh -huh. For it is written that Abraham had two sons. So Abraham did have two sons, Ishmael and Isaac. Go ahead. The one by a bond me. That's who Ishmael came from. He had that. The Ishmaelites today are the Arabians, right. not black people. Right. They themselves tell you they came from Ishmael. Right. They know who they come from. Our people don't. Hey. Because we are the ones that's been destroyed by the curses in the Bible, right. not them. 
go ahead. The other by a free woman. The free woman was Sarah. She had Isaac. Go ahead. But he who was of the born woman, the one of the slave woman, go ahead, was born after the flesh. She was born. At, that child, which was Ishmael, was born after the flesh. The same way our people be lusting and sleeping with all these women. All after the flesh. Bring it out. Go ahead. But he, Watch, we finna tell you. But he of the free woman. But he of the free woman. Was by promise. He was by what? Promise. By promise because they were both told, y'all are going to have a chosen son. And through him, all the nations and all of the chosen people, the Israelites, are going to come through him. He. It didn't say Ishmael. It said that through Isaac. So watch this. Now we've been approved that Ishmael is not a son of God. Go ahead. Which these are an allegory. Uh -huh. For these are the two covenants. I want you to jump up 21. Is that where it said that? No, finish No, we are. We are. We are. We're, we're going to. Where it said that these are not the sons of God. No, no, stay there. Well, let's read down. Uh, we can explain this too. Go ahead. Which these are an allegory. So these are an allegory. So one, watch, I'm going to tell you. An allegory means something that was symbolism. So the son that was born after the bond woman, Ishmael, and there was a son of the promise, which was Isaac. There was two allegories. Let's see what it is. Go ahead. For these are the two covenants. The two what? The two covenants. There's an old covenant and a new covenant, so they represent the two covenants. Go ahead. The one from the Mount Sinai, uh -huh. which generates abundance. Uh, it was generated to what? Bondage. So Ishmael represented bondage from us right. to get right. killed, for us to be put under these curses. That's what Ishmael represented. Right. That's what he represented. That's the allegory of him even being born. He, he represents the Israelites. He don't even represent himself. Bring it out. He was born to represent our slavery. Right. Under the old covenant, the curses that came from breaking those laws. Right. Go ahead. No, we just read it out of the Bible. Let's go ahead. We're going to read that. We're going to, it just said the, out of bondage. You gave it your interpretation. We just said it was representing a bondage. That's what the Bible said. What bondage do you know of? The one that the so-called blacks and Spanish Native Americans been in. We're the chosen people of God. Right. That's it. So what other bondage do you want? Or, the, or, or, or us breaking the commandments. If you broke the Sabbath today, what would happen under the old covenant? Under the bondage. You got murdered. Right. We stoned you. Right. Because that is the bondage of the old covenant. So right. now let's see what Isaac represents. Go ahead. Which is Hagar. Uh -huh. For this Hagar. Because that's who Ishmael came from, from Hagar. Go ahead. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai. That is Mount Sinai. That's where we receive the old covenant. Right. If you break the Sabbath or commit murder, you get stoned. Right. You commit adultery, you get stoned. You in sodomite, you are out in all kind of homosexuality, you got stoned. Right. And then for breaking those laws, we were put in slavery right, right here right. in America. That's who Ishmael represent. That's who Hagar and Ishmael represent. Go ahead. In Arabia. Uh -huh. In Ezra to Jerusalem. And Ezra to Jerusalem. Which now is and is in bondage with our children. Because uh, even when this was written, wasn't Israel in slavery under the Romans when this was written then? We were still in slavery then. That is what that said. It said, which is now. It's, read that verse again. Read, listen. That's why you have to listen. Read it again. For this Hagar. Watch, watch, watch. This is the point. This is the point. I'm not arguing with you. You see what I'm saying? No one's arguing. I'm giving an understanding of the Bible. Watch this. Watch this. My brother back here in the shirt. My brother. Didn't he ask for the he say give the understanding? My brother right here in the black. Didn't he say give the understanding? Ain't that what I'm doing? So why would he say that that's not what I'm doing? I'm reading the Bible just telling you who Hagar represents. Go ahead. For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia and Ezra to Jerusalem, which now is and is in bondage with her children. Because Israel was under the Romans. They were in slavery right then. Go ahead. But Jerusalem, uh -huh. which is above, is free. That is who Isaac represents. That is who Sarah represents. Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Which is that new covenant that frees us from that, from that sacrifice. Go ahead. Which is the mother of us all. For it is written, 
Rejoice, thou bury, that buries not. Uh -huh. Break forth in Christ. That's why we gonna rejoice, because now we are under the new covenant and Christ gave us an opportunity to repent. That's why we rejoice. So what is your religion? What is your religion? I didn't, I didn't go through that. What do you say his religion was? That's why you came to the mic, bro. So he's in Islam. You came to the mic. So you're in Islam following a slave doctrine. Bro, you came to the mic. Because your younger brother couldn't handle me. So no, he that ain't why I came. Ain't that he couldn't handle you? So, so that ain't why I came. You came to the mic. You are following a slave doctrine. That's why I'm up here. I don't want to see you dead. I would rather see you live. But instead, you're in a dead religion. Jeremiah three and two. Let's find out how he learned that dumb religion. He learned. Let's see. Let's see how he learned that dumb religion. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2 Lift up thine eyes unto the high places uh -huh. and see where there has been not been lying with Because it says lift up your eyes and see where these dumb religions come from Let's see who they followed after, go ahead In the ways has thou set for them uh -huh. as the Arabians Who did we learn Islam from? The Arabians Who did we learn Islam from? The Arabians In the wilderness And we learned Islam in slavery. How many years after? How many years after Christ did Islam pop up? How many? How many years? By historical fact. How many years? By historical fact. All praise. How many years after Christ did Islam come? How many? What's wrong with him? I'm looking over him at you now. What's the difference? Ain't nobody hiding. That's why we got it on the corner. I don't understand. You can see us clear as day. We had it clear as day. What were you? I'm trying to give you history, and you don't want to hear the history. So he had your attention, but you weren't listening to him neither. You just so you don't want to listen to nobody. All praises to the Most High. Read it again. Jeremiah chapter 3 verse 2 uh -huh. Lift up thine eyes Unto the high places uh -huh. So it tell you to lift up And look at all these high places The high places is idols Look at all the idols that our people follow after Go ahead And see where thou hast not been lying with Let's see Who have we not dabbled and dibbled In all their idolatry with Now it's been a name of specific people Go ahead In the ways hast thou set for them uh -huh. As the we sat and learned Islam from the Arabians. That's right. 600 years after Christ. That's when yep. Islam came about. How you going to follow the moon and stars? Because that's what it's about. How you going to go make a hodge around a rock when the, when the Bible tells you in Leviticus? The first five books don't bow down to a stone. And you take a hodge and kiss a stone. But our people say they love God. Our people say they know how to get to heaven. No, they know how to follow everybody else and be destroyed. That's matter of fact, let's get that in Leviticus. Let's read that in Leviticus. Got it? Let's read. Leviticus chapter 26, verse 1. Go ahead. He shall make you no idol, uh -huh. no graven image, uh -huh. neither rear you up a standing image, uh -huh. neither shall ye set up any image of stone. So we are not allowed to be in Islam. Right. It just said you cannot set up an image of stone in Islam don't they walk around a cobblestone do they walk around a cobblestone in, in Islam y'all don't know all praise y'all don't know that crap now in Islam y'all ever see what they y'all say y'all don't know so we ain't gonna deal with it now what's your question what makes, what makes the King James version the best version of the Bible all praises what version do you read I read uh, the Greek translation of the Which one? The Greek translation of the Bible, what's the name of it? It's, 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 it's on the website that translates the Greek translation. Say it again. It's on BibleHub.com. Okay, so you're on BibleHub.com, and on BibleHub, it give you all the translations of the Bible. Okay, so you're saying that was better than the King James Version? Yes. Why? Because it was written in Greek before it was translated by King James. Okay, now King James didn't translate. He authorized Greek scholars to translate it to English. So, well, where's the, where's the Bible Dictionary? Here we are. We're going to prove it. Here we go. King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to James first. Now, King James said James the first because he was a black man. He ruled England and Scotland. He was the first over one area and the sixth over the other. Go ahead. 
who had been king of Scotland uh -huh. for 37 years. He is. Go ahead. As James V. Uh-huh. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation. So he didn't authorize it to be rewritten. He authorized it to be translated. That's why you can go to Bible Hub today and actually got a, a Greek one and then they put it in English for you. All because of him. Go ahead. Who had been king of Scotland for 37 years uh -huh. and James the sixth. Go ahead. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized a new translation of the Bible to replace the bishop's Bible. Go ahead. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. So it was 47. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. So you got the best of the best that spoke Greek. So when you say you're reading it in Greek and then it gets translated into English, let's see what these Greek scholars did. Go ahead. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars uh -huh. of the day were divided into six groups. Uh -huh. Three for the Old Testament. So there were three groups to translate the Old Testament and, and translate that into English. Go ahead. Two for the New. There was two groups to translate the New Testament into English. And one for the Apocrypha. Because the Apocrypha was always a part of it. Like the brother that was questioning if we had the whole Bible. The Apocrypha was a part of the Bishop's Bible. Why don't we list any other part? Because that was all that was done. That's it. So now you got three groups for the Old. Two groups for the New. One group for the Apocrypha. All they did was translate. Let's read on down. When a group had completed its task, uh -huh. its work was submitted to 12 men. So every time they completed their task, they had a whole hierarchy of people that understood Greek and Hebrew. And they translated it. So therefore, if it says black in Greek, if I turned around and made that orange, when it went up to the guy, no, 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 that's wrong. He didn't translate that right. See what I'm saying? That's what they did. That's what King James authorized. He didn't rewrite it itself. He took it from Greek into English, which is how you are able to use Bible Hub today and show a Greek scripture and it translate into English because you don't speak Greek. What's, what's Jesus' name? You just said it. No. Okay, well, what is it? His name is Yahshua. Okay, Yahshua. What's the difference? In English, Give me that in Matthew 21. To English, his name will be Joshua. Okay. So they knew how to translate the word, the name Joshua, because they have Joshua in the Old Testament. Now, quick question. All praises. We don't knock that at all. You can say whichever one, whichever version so you want to say. Why did they change our Savior's name? Did they? They did. His name is Joshua. Okay, watch this. What did it say he would be called in the Bible? Give me that in Isaiah. What did it say? Christ will be called in the Bible. You know what I'm talking about? Nine and six. Nine, nine and six. Watch this. Watch this. We're gonna read it. Yeah, that's all I want. That's what I want. Watch this. You you interpret all of these into Greek for me. Isaiah chapter nine verse six. Uh -huh. For unto us a child is born. Uh -huh. Who's that child that was born unto Israel? Who's that child? Okay, so we reading about Christ in Isaiah. Where are we at? Isaiah chapter, what is it? Nine and six. Get it on your phone. You got any questions? All praises. All praises. Yeah, he come on up. We be dealing with the name of Christ right now. Yeah. Because first we just dealt with the, the with the whole Bible with the King James being the best version because it's the only one that was translated from Greek and Hebrew into English and Latin. So now you got it? All praises. Here we go. For unto us a child is born. Go ahead. Unto us a son is given. Uh -huh. And the government shall be upon his shoulder. So rulership is going to be given to Christ. Go ahead. And his name shall be called Wonderful. Wait, wait. And his what? And his name shall be called Wonderful. What is that in Greek? People. All right. Let's go again. Let's go ahead. Counselor. What is that in Greek? Yo, that's, yeah. What does it say? Yo, yo, vets. Uh-huh. The mighty God. No, but it's just called Christ the mighty God. So what is how what is that in Greek? The King James Bible. This brother's reading the Greek Bible and he don't speak Greek. Okay, Do you mind if I come up and look? Somebody show him to get a Bible. No, he won't let me use this Bible. No, they're gonna show you right there. They're gonna let you see it right there. It's all good. It's all good. You got it? You, you ready? Here we go. How do you know that? What's the next one? The everlasting father! What's that in Greek? Uh, for L okay, let's go. The Prince of Peace. Uh huh. What is that? Uh huh. Is that it? So now, how many names did it just name right there? Like four different names. Wait, wait. Why don't? Why don't? Why don't? Why is it an issue 
if you just is. don't say Yahshua like you said, because it's not Joshua. Yeah, it's not Joshua. So then, so what does it matter if you're not doing what he said? Because you know why they changed the name. No, no, but you know why he said all these titles would be. We ain't worry about what men say. We worry about what the Bible say. Why? It's because that's who he is to us. Now, watch this. It's Jesus' name. Yeah. You sure? Jesus is not his name. Okay. It, so now, so do anybody have the real name of Christ today? Yeah. All praises to the Most High. Let's read in Revelation. Here we are. Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. Because yeah. you said, you said you, there's people that got the real name of Christ. Revelations, what is it? Call it for him. Chapter 19, verse 12. Uh-huh. You got it now? Yeah. Let's go ahead. His eyes. Wait, wait. What? Well, let me see. Can I see yours? Let me see yours on your phone. Right. Let me see yours on your phone. All right. So what I see is you're reading it in English. So you don't even know Greek to even know the Greek that you're reading is true. It's the original No, 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 no. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah, I hear what, you hear what I'm saying. You don't speak Greek. Here we go. Bruh, listen. You don't speak Greek. We are speaking English right here to the point where you're reading it from English and then you're letting someone say that's what it means in Greek. Get out. So you can't even read that is that is in English too. Now let's read on. Watch this. Now let's see what it now let's see let's see if anybody got the real name of Christ right now. Go ahead. Revelation chapter 19, verse 12. His eyes were as a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns. And he had a name written that no man knew. No, no, they got the name today. Go ahead. And he had a name written. That no man wait, knew. Wait, look at his face. Because you know that is the truth. Man. Man. Finish up. Know that is the finish truth. up, though. Finish up, though. Finish up. Finish up. I did. I'll let you explain. I didn't even they got three. His name to Jesus. Stop. Read exactly. that again. That's what I mean by that. And he had a name written uh -huh. that no man knew. Okay, now, so how do y'all know? Now, is Jesus Christ's real name? Read that part again. And he had a name written. That no man knew. What about Joshua? And he had a name written that no man knew. What about Yahusha? And he had a name written that no man knew. No one got his real name, bro. Not even you. Okay, so what is his real name? Unbelievable. What about the name? Do you remember why I asked you why? Because, Did I make it about the name or he because made it about the name? Okay, I just want to make sure. When he so translated he got two or three the witnesses. Bible to English, oh, praise they, have a, they have an English word. So what must Joshua. you do? Huh? What sir, must you do? Sir, what? I want you to hear me. What do you mean by that? We are talking about the translation. You are telling me do? why the King James Version is the what best version. What must we do to get to heaven? I'm telling you why it's not the best version. All praise. All right. What must we do to get to heaven? No, stop. I am. This is going to go right along with what you're saying. What must we do to get to heaven? Okay, what must we do to get to the kingdom of heaven? Your faith. All right. Let's go to Matthew. Let's read that. You got it already. Watch this. Watch this. Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. Bring it out. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord. Not everybody that calls on the name said, Not everyone that he says, says unto everybody. me. He, he said, Not everybody. He not. Said, so that's a, that's a half point. Watch this. You ain't listening either. I am listening. So it's then listen and sense. let the scripture come out. Okay. Watch, watch. Not everyone uh -huh. that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into. The kingdom of heaven. So not everybody that says Joshua, Joshua is going into heaven. Father. Not everybody that says Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is going into We're heaven. Not, not everybody that says Jesus, I, I, Jesus I you is going into name, heaven. But why were we talking Go about ahead. the name? Watch, watch. Because but he that doeth the will of my father. But he that doeth the will of God. What's the will of God? What's your name? My name's Rashad. Rashad, what's the will of God? According to the Greek version of the I'm, Bible. I'm just doing it according to the Bible, period. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, Rashad, you're not allowed to do that. Why not? Because I'm reading it from the Bible, and you say I'm not allowed to do it, but then well, you just said the same thing. To do it. I asked you why the King James Version That is because it translated version. from Greek and, and Hebrew into English. But, and That's and the only one that did that. It's the only one that did that. I'm listening to... So it's the only one that did that. What other one did it? I just want you to hear me. Do you speak... 
Do you speak Hebrew? Can you can Do you speak Greek? Turn this thing on for like two it seconds. It is, but we're the okay. teachers. Okay. You know what? So, Good, Herman. Go ahead. Let me see. Let me so see. the reason they are you going to stay for the answer out of the Bible? Then? Oh After yeah, I'll, I'll stay. All praise to the Most High. Go ahead. So the reason, we're trying to help them too. The well. reason they changed his name was because just like you said, it was wrong to worship the creation. They were worshiping um, Jupiter and Mars and the Moon, and everything came in trinities. And at the time, they took the name. Yes, they took the name. And when the Romans came and took over, they took the name of Jupiter, their uh -huh. god, and they changed that. Um, I can't remember the name. And they took the name of the moon, and they named the moon Jesus. And they took the name of another celestial being, and they named it the mother. And so anyone that worships the father, the mother, and Jesus. And then they made that, and they're like, everybody has to follow this. And that is how modern day Catholicism began. The Catholic yeah, Church yeah. roots dig dig deep into modern day Christianity and that's where it came from and that's why they changed the name Yahshua to Jesus because they wanted you to worship their moon not your God. Oh praise I ain't saying that you're wrong some of the things you said does line up with why they did certain things but some of it don't. Now the question is after all of that how do you be saved to get to the kingdom of heaven? How would she get there and how would he get there? Because if, if you're not there, I want him to answer because because he said why is this the best version versus we all speak English today am I right you speak English too uh, clearly you heard my speak speaking your languages okay hey we got people out here to speak all kinds of languages but what language do you speak okay you speak what language correct so we all speak English you speak a little Spanish but those are real languages am I right go to Isaiah 28 Watch this. Let's see if let's see what God said about the languages and things that we do and speak. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 11. For with stammering lips and another tongue. And another what? Another tongue. Another language. So with stammering lips and another language. Will he speak to this people? He gonna do what? Speak to this people. What language you speak today, Rashad? That's why the Bible was written in English so you can read it. Because it was always prophesied for what captivity, the captivities that we would be spread into. The Bible would be translated so we can always find our way back to God. Now, because in all the translations, give me Matthew 19, 16. All the translations tell you how to get to the kingdom of heaven. All of them. So if you do speak Greek, it's the same thing as this what we're going to read. Let's see how we get to the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. Matthew chapter 19, verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good thing shall I do that I may have eternal life? Quick question for y'all. Because So this man right here is asking Christ a question. I'm going to ask it to y'all. How we get to heaven? How? Huh? How do we get there? I have faith in Jesus Christ. Okay, that's what my man said. What you say, brother? How we get to the kingdom of heaven? Do you believe in God? All right, so how do we go and see him? How do we get to go see God and have everlasting peace where there's no captivity, no crime for us no more? What do we got to do while we are alive? Do we have to do anything? Yes. What we got to do, Mother? Honor God and follow the commandments. And follow the commandments. She said, honor God and follow the commandments. What would you say? What would you say, my sister? What would you say, Rashad? All right, how do you do that? How do you love God? Do oh, your actions. All praise. Right, read on down. Read on down. Here we go. Verse 17. And he said unto him. This is what Christ answered this young man. He asked him, How do we get to the kingdom of heaven? How do we get everlasting life? Go ahead. Why callest thou me good? There is none good but one. That is God. So Christ said, The only one that's good is God. The only reason why Christ was perfect is because God made him like that. Go ahead. But if thou wilt enter into life, you want everlasting life. Keep the commandment. Do what? Keep the commandment. Nope, I can speak all the languages instead. Keep the commandment. That is the point, Rashad. That's right. If you're not doing this, you can say whatever language you want. Right. If you stay in sin, you're dead. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.
station is commuting.